Welcome to Fishing the Midwest, where we take you to top fishing destinations close to home and show you some great ways to catch fish. Hi, I'm Bob Jensen. This is Fish in the Midwest. Thanks for stopping by. This is Mike Frisch. Mike does a lot of guiding and fishing and that sort of thing. And sometimes, Mike, you use planer boards for fishing. Uh, people sometimes are intimidated by planer boards. There's no reason to be, is there? Absolutely not, Bob. You know, they're really actually pretty simple to use. The whole key with planer boards is you let your line out. Typically, we use a crank board or crank bait or maybe a bottom bouncer and a spinner. But let your line out, and then the board simply comes with the two snaps. You snap your line in set the board in the water, let more line out, and the design of the board pulls the bait out away from the boat. Simple to use. Yep. You know, Mike, I fish in Iowa a lot, Wisconsin, South Dakota. Those are multiple line states, uh, so we can get a lot of planter boards out and try a lot of different lures and, and actions and depths and that sort of thing. You fish Minnesota, a one line state. Do you still find applications for planter boards? Absolutely, Bob. I use planter boards quite a bit, actually, when I'm guiding anytime I'm trolling crankbaits because lots of times I'll have multiple people in the boat. So planter boards, again, allows me to spread lines so I don't have to worry about tangling. Also, we can increase our trolling pass, you know, cover more water. And the other thing is we have really clear water now. Zebra mussels have kind of taken over where I live. And in clear water, a planter board is a great way to take that bait out away from the side of the boat, you minimize spooking. We caught some walleyes on crankbaits and planter boards this last summer. Let's look at some of this action. That's it. Got a little more. It doesn't take much to have a little more weight though. <laughs> yeah. Well, there he is in the service bag. Yeah. He's How fast are we going? Like? We were two miles an hour, Bob. Is there right. a range you like to stay in? 1.8. Point two seems like it's kind of thin. Yep. Yeah. It is. Oh yeah, that's not a bad thing, Bob. And look at that. Came out at the right time. We did the quick release. <laughs> I'll get the hook out of there. You know. Planer boards do a great job in clear water, they prevent spooking, but they also do a really nice job out in the basin of the lakes, you know, out in the deeper basins. We were on a lake a while back, you and I, and we caught a lot of walleyes in the basin with planer boards. Let's take a trip back there. Is this a one here, one there dealer when you get on them? Well, oh, look at them. Oh, that's nice. Ah, that's a nice one. Look at that guy. Oh, boy. Very good. Oh, boy, yeah. Go another couple hundred yards, and there's another one. Yep, you know? yep. That's, that's a nice one. one. All right, let's get this girl back. Yep. Mike, through the years, we've experimented with so many different types of crankbaits for walleyes. This year, you came upon a, a, a big one, didn't you? Absolutely. You know, Striking's got the Walleye Elite series of crankbaits. They've got a Lucky Shad, a Bonsai Shad, a Banana Shad, and those baits have the sizes, the shapes the actions and the diving depths to allow us to cover a lot of water and catch walleyes in a lot of different situ situations. The other thing that I really like about the Strike King baits, like I talked about clear water, they've got some color patterns. They've got a perch color pattern. They've got a crystal shad pink belly. They've got all the color patterns to help me catch more walleyes. Let's take a look at a couple catches we had on those baits. 17 or 18, they uh, eat, don't they? Mm. Oh yeah. Nice. Good job, Dave. On a board. What a gr that's better than a 17, I think, isn't it? Or 18, that's a good yep. deal. A it felt heavier start. when he was on there first. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Evinroot, the outboards that are changing everything. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. Keyline, because we fish. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. K-Drill Ice Augers. Drilling ice will never be the same. Distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. The future of boating is here. 
Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy E-Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best-in-class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. Over the last 25 years, Offshore Tackle has dominated the freshwater trolling industry. For the next 25, we're not about to stop. Precision engineering, American reliability, and filling thousands of live wells, one board pullback at a time. Offshore Tackle, the obvious choice, my, my choice. choice. That's why Offshore Tackle has outperformed and outsold any other brand in history. Offshore Tackle is your leader in trolling technology. Hannay's Marine is the largest Larson FX dealer in the world and has a huge selection of boats and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced experts will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including Larson, G3, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Suncatcher and Larson Escape. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates of over $1,000 on select models and great financing rates. Your boat, your treasure, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Sometimes you just got to switch it up, move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Mike, you know, down through the years, I've had the really fortunate experience to learn about planar boards from two of the best, Bruce DeShano and Dean Arnoldison. And we fished Green Bay a lot for them. And we think we were fishing walleyes, but man, oh man, those, those planar boards helped us catch so many different species of fish, some incidental, some on purpose. And I know you've had some uh, kind of different type of catches with planar boards also, where you tried to catch different species. Absolutely, Bob. We had a catch a few years ago, a great catch on Big Stone Lake for jumbo perch on planar boards. Let's check a little of that out. Like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> See how that rod just rattles in yep. there? This is a perch too. I'm gonna try not to lose this one. Mine's gonna be bigger than Mike's, just watch. Oh, mine got back in the lake somehow. <laughs> Darn it, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Mine is bigger. Yep. Well, allegedly. Yeah. That is a nice fish. Ooh, Brad. Look at that guy. That's a nice perch. That's a good perch there, boy. That's a good sized perch. Yep. That's a little over 10 inches. Look at that. Big, fat. I like that. And now Offshore has developed a board for the smaller species. It's a mini board. And I know you had some experience with that with crappies too. Yeah, absolutely. We've caught a bunch of crappies on the mini boards. Fish on the board, Shane? Still on there. Lift it straight up. Oh yeah. I believe we have us a crappie. That is a crappie. It is a crappie. And that's a better crappie. That is a good one. Yep. Give me a hand here. Sure. Nice. Oh yeah, it's a good That's one. Better one. Still not a monster, but we're, we're getting there. We're slowly building our way up, aren't we? Yeah, we got something. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Good one there. That's a good one, yep. 
So we made a little move to a little new area. And the first pass, fish on. Fish on. On those mini boards, it's easy to tell when you get a bite, the board just slides back. What about the bigger boards? Well, absolutely, Bob. You know, like we saw there, that mini board just darts back when a fish hits. On this bigger board, they've got the tattle flag. The tattle flag is really simple. Basically, it pulls the flag down when you get a fish, so flag down, fish on. Other thing I love about the tattle flag is if you get a small fish, maybe a tiny perch when you're trolling walleyes, or you hook a weed, a lot of times that tattle flag lets you know that your bait's not running true as well. Sometimes with those bigger crankbaits, you'll see the, the flag. Yep, absolutely, yep. absolutely. Mike, in addition to the walleye baits, Straight King makes some panfish baits, and I know you've had really good success with those as well. Absolutely. They make the Mr. Crappie crappie cranks, and again, the right sizes, the right actions, and the right colors to catch panfish as well. Look at that one. That's a good one. As we were turning. Oh, boy. You got him there? The human landing net. That's what it looked like <laughs> to me. <laughs> Look at there. And so we were turning around when that fish ate that thing, huh? You know what, we got into a spot that's back to back. What, back -to -back. Uh, that's another 12, 12 plus. There, yeah. You know, Bob, crankbaits, troll behind planter boards, hook a lot of fish. A question I typically get or get a lot when I'm guiding is, how does that board come off? It just takes a little teamwork. Here's how it's done. Teamwork in taking off the planter board helps us keep the line tight and the fish hooked up. Now, one of the things that you do take a planer board off is, I'm not sure if he's there anymore. Yeah, he is. But I yeah, well, yeah. hold the line, Bob reels down to the line, I don't give any slack to the fish. That's important to keep that fish hooked up. Still there, huh? It's still there. Man, raising that one bait has been the ticket, hasn't yep. it? Yep, getting up higher. Yeah. Oh, you see him back there? Oh. I'm going to try to get him over this line here, Mike. Uh, don't tell me he came off. That's why I said don't tell me. Good. Yeah, yeah. Getting the up higher and going to that blue has really made a difference, it has. hasn't it? It really it has. has. Wow. Pob, planer boards help us catch all species of fish, don't they? They really do. If you want to catch more fish, you've got to add planer boards to your arsenal. We'll come back, we'll be fishing walleyes. Stay tuned. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Hanay's Marine, there are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanay's Marine. Ray Marine, Marine Electronics. Ray Marine, simply superior. Larson FX, the multi-species, multi-use boat that's ready for whatever you are. Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's new winter hotspot. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine, simply superior. You know, guys, I hate to admit it, but before every tournament, I have to tie one on. And 
I really hate to admit this, but before the Bassmaster Classic, I really had a tie one. And if you do what I did and tie one on from Strike King, maybe you'll get what I got, a classic hangover. So Rainy River is one of the premier big walleye spots in all of North America. And it's primed during the early spring season. That's when those big females are up in the river preparing to spawn and later spawn. That was my fish. Really? Yeah. Sorry. Need the net? Um, we might need the net on this one. Nah, I can get them. Well, yeah, let's net them. He's got a little uh, something going on in there. Look at that. So, Kevin, I figured out why I caught this one. He's blind in one eye. <laughs> Even a, even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. There you go. Age and beauty sometimes works as well. <laughs> Did it twice. Kevin, that looks like a big one. It looks a little bit better than what we've been seeing, you bet. <laughs> well, maybe the big fish. Are starting to motor in. Yep. One of, the, one of the best things to do here when you're in these big fish situations or larger fish, when you're fishing with braided line and, and fluorocarbon is setting that drag looser so you don't have as much tension on that fish and the, and the ability to lose that fish. So you're not pulling that hook out. You're not out. pulling that hook out, right. you bet. Little forgiveness. And that's the other part, Kevin, where that, that fluorocarbon leader. Yep, here she comes. Helps out is. Coming up. One more time. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, look at that one. There we go. Now that's a walleye. That's what Rainy River is known for. Exactly. You got it? Nice. Nice. Kevin? <laughs> this one's not as big as yours, but. Grab the net? Yep, I got it right here. Not as big as yours, my friend, but pretty good walleye, a lot of places. <laughs> you know, Kevin. Net in one hand and a fish in the yep. other. One of the things about the Rainy River is a lot of places, that's not a bad walleye, and he's still not a bad one, but that, <laughs> That's what you come to the Rainy River for. So this is a pretty good walleye, a lot of places, but here it's just a walleye. That, <laughs> that's what you come to the Rainy River for. But they're all fun, right? Oh, absolutely. They're absolutely all fun, and when you get a jig and a minnow combination going and they wrap that thing, that's what it's for. Exactly, that's pretty, oh, that's a, that's a big in there. I'm gonna get mine back, Kevin. On our spinning rods and reels, we're using braided line today, and the reason that we're using braided line is braided line is very thin. We're using XTCB8 braid from P-Line. It's 10 pound test, but in the same diameter as two pound monofilament, so it's super thin, yet very strong, and it also has that low stretch, which makes it really sensitive. One thing that's important with that, however, is when you go to fight that fish, you gotta take your time because that braided line with zero stretch, well, it's not that forgiving. So you gotta take your time, fight those fish, let them wear themselves out so you don't rip that hook out of their mouth. That might be a little more than one one. No. 
So Kevin, that's a sauger. And that's one of the neat things about the Rainy River is there's walleyes, there's some saugers, and you also got a shot at catching a big sturgeon too. We haven't caught one of those yet, but you never know. Yeah, Mike, you're right. You know, the nice thing to tell about these difference between saugers and walleyes is the spots. You have the spots on the dorsal fin and you've got the lack of a distinctive white spot on their tail fin. But they are definitely good eaters and they fight just as good as a walleye. Stay tuned for some fast walleye action when we come back. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Strike King, Tie One On, Vexilar, Own the Ice, Core Ice, Built for Life, The Way You Live It, Beckman Nets, Beautiful Cabotogama Lake, Gateway to Voyagers National Park, Luther North Country Ford, home of the Ford F-Series line, the top selling truck in the United States for 40 consecutive years. Distinctive Cabinet Design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there is no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Beckman Nets are back, and that's going to make lots of fishermen very happy. Beckman Nets are the best for both the fishermen and the fish. Beckman's coated nets are fish friendly to ensure the release of fish's safety. Beckman Nets come in handle lengths up to 9 feet, and the one piece yoke is incredibly durable, while the quick connect channel allows for an ultra fast connection of the handle to the yoke, and the features go on and on. If you need a new net, and if you don't have a Beckman, then you need a new net, check them out at participating fishing tackle dealers. Over the last 25 years, Offshore Tackle has dominated the freshwater trolling industry. For the next 25, we're not about to stop. Precision engineering. American reliability. And filling thousands of live wells. One board pullback at a time. Offshore Tackle, the obvious choice. My, My choice. choice. That's why Offshore Tackle has outperformed and outsold any other brand in history. Offshore Tackle is your leader in trolling technology. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine, simply superior. Kevin? What? This is a heavy one. Okay. This might be what we came to Rainy River for. He's not here yet. There he is, there's the leader. Bulldogging. I see that. So one of the things that we're doing here is we're kind of experimenting with different style jigs. So we wanted a jig that put off a little more flash and vibration. We were using Whistler jigs and the Thumper jig from North and Tackle. Nothing like a river fish. Yep. They're strong. There we go. That's what we came to the Rainy River for. On that Northland Thumper again. Yep. yep. I'll let you take them off. Thank you, sir. So we relocated our first spot produced several fish, but they were those males, those smaller males. We want some of these bigger females, so we came to another spot and we just set up. We're actually kind of 
holding in place. We're using the spot lock feature to hold in place. And boy, Kevin, uh, that's a healthy one. We'll get bigger, but that's a good start for just getting into the spot. This is some good fishing action. We took a break and we talked to Kevin about some of the differences between Evan Rood's outboards and some of the other engine manufacturers. We're giving the user the power of choice. Evan Rood E-Tech G2 has got unrivaled performance, the unmatched lifetime value, full breakthrough design in our G2 technology, and the cleanest technology on the globe. We got one going, Mike. Is it down? A little bit bigger size again. Let me know when you need me. Constant head shake and a pull. I'm going to set my rod down like I did last time. Maybe I'll get that. Here we are. Oh, sorry. Yeah, those are nice eaters in anybody's book, you know. So roundhead jigs come in a lot of different configurations, shapes, sizes. We're using two jigs. We're using the current cutter jig and the traditional fireball. The traditional fireball has the short shank, wide gap hook and that works great in a lot of situations, but the current cutter has an even bigger hook, and as the name implies, it cuts current, so it's specifically designed for deep water or current river situations like today. Here we go, Mike. Good? Yeah, it looks like another good one. Good. No, uh, no time limit here, we just take our time with it. Yep. Well, like you said, one of the things that happens is when you rush a fish with braided line. Here, look at it. Yep. Just pull that hook out. There we go. Got him, Kevin. That's not one of those big ones. Yeah, that's another nice fish. Yeah. Well, that last fish that Kevin caught was another one of those big girls. And you know, those big fish are what you come to Rainy River for in the spring. Hey, this was a fun trip. Kevin is an excellent fisherman. He knows his outboard motors like we talked about. We encourage you to check out Fishing the Midwest on Facebook. From there, you can sign up for the new Fishing the Midwest Real Times newsletter where you can get entered to win Fishing the Midwest t-shirts, sweatshirts, and more. Plus, we'll keep you updated on all things Fishing the Midwest. In addition to Facebook, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all our TV episodes and how-to fishing videos. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time. And as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.